help her. She's helpless. Thank you. Can you come up and see me, though? What's up there? Well, it's day five of having the chicks. Everything's going really well. I'm obsessed. There's a couple things that I wanted to mention that I've been doing for them. Um, they obviously haven't been integrated yet. That's gonna come in a different video where the big chickens meet the little chickens without a barrier. So that's coming soon. I've been giving them obviously chick pellet food. It's super important to get like a store-bought pellet food for the chicks because it has all the protein and all the stuff that they need more so than we could provide in like a supplementary diet the other thing is uh, I've been putting apple cider vinegar in the chickens water so uh, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar the one that says with the mother that's the one you'd be looking for half a teaspoon in a liter of water, like the tiniest amount. I'm gonna link down below the benefits of that. Really good benefits and chicks drink a ton of water. So it's a really good way to get a whole bunch of good stuff in them. Here comes the big chickens. <laughs> the other thing is I've been bringing them, grinding up, bringing them snacks. So I've been bringing in afternoon snacks, trying to get them to let me touch them. Uh, oats corn and mealworms ground up in a coffee grinder and um, just so it's a little bit easier for them to get in their little beaks I've been doing that they love it and yeah I'm just gonna go check on them right now it's almost bedtime oh, Clyde you're in here oh. Like I said, they drink a ton of water, so you really got to check their water situation, especially when you have a lot of them quite often throughout the day, like three or four times. Surprisingly, you have to fill it up. Well, it depends on your water feeder, I guess, but the one I have isn't the best. Okay. Heidi, watch out. Yeah, this food looks okay. Such a sketchy gate. Oh, the big chickens are home. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Hi, Poke. Fancy meeting you here, buddy. Hi, big chickens. Hi, 
They're like, yeah, whatever. Okay, it's okay, Clady. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna see if one of them will let me pick them up and show you. Hey, be gentle. It's okay, Pope. Alright. Come here, my little hootie. Indigo. Indigo's charging them. Oh, okay. So this just happened. Literally. I don't even know who is on my back. Whoa. So cool. <laughs> is it my little one? It is. It's Hootie. She loves me. Okay, so she jumped, jumped on my lap this afternoon. This is the first time that this is happening. This is hilarious. Sweet girl. Am I your salvation? Who else wants to come up on the back? Somebody else I've been doing it. This is hilarious. Come here. Clyde, please don't eat the chicken food with the chickens. Well, let's just focus on this miracle that happened here. I don't even know what to do. If, oh. Okay. A lot of dreams are coming true right now. Oh, oh now she's on me. So cool. I'm definitely a crazy chicken lady. Yeah, that one that just went on my back is a really cool hen. She is definitely, <laughs> I'd say, one of the smartest ones and the bravest, obviously. Come here, little raven. They're really interested in the camera. Hey, come on. Clyde. Clyde's jealous. Proud and days are on their way. Forever's how long they'll stay.
chasing sunsets in the sky. Won't let these moments pass us by. Take my hand, don't be afraid. Through brighter days. That sounded like a sigh of, oh good, you can help me. Yeah, yeah. Well, can you get a clean one? And a milk crate. A Kleenex and a milk crate? Yeah, I think I know why my legs hurt so much. Because you've been squatting? Yeah. I have this, but I wouldn't use it. <laughs> Lovely. They're bigger. Yeah. Wow, white ginger is huge. Yeah, she is big. And Hootie's, she's such a runt. Mm hmm. The little white ones are too dubbed, too. Mm hmm. That's okay, because Glenda was like that. Yeah, that's true. And she was a boss. Yeah. You want to take some pictures of them? Are you filming still? Mm hmm. Okay. Keep filming. Ew. Has somebody been imprinted? My little girl. <laughs> She's my little girl. Yeah. Here. She picked her person, and it's me. <laughs> she lets you pick her up as well. I know she what? doesn't eat though. Like. Maybe it's. It's a mixed breed, like some of the breeds eat more than others, I think. It's a thing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Because she likes to spend a lot of time in there crushing it up all the food for everybody, but and her feet are really cold, so I'm worried that she's anemic. Maybe she's a rooster. <laughs> oh, she's not a rooster. <laughs> you like that nice, clean roost? Yes, I love the nice clean ones. Thank you. Yeah. You don't want to eat? No, don't jump in. So yesterday, um, one of the white ones jumped up on my back. Oh, don't spill my coffee. Or shit on it. Oh no, it's gonna shit on my coffee. Don't. <laughs> It's been two weeks today that we, since we got our baby chickens, we got nine new chickens and just wanted to give you a little update to see how they're doing. They're growing so fast. I'm just in the middle of cleaning out their little coop area. Uh, for those of you who are new here, we have a rooster and two hens that are full grown. So right now we have 
the little chickens separated from the big chickens until they get a little bit bigger and stronger. So let me just show you how they're doing. Okay. Probably going to disturb them by doing this, but get in the little gate here. Poop on that. set up some little temporary roosts for them to hang out on. <laughs> Clyde's in here. They are quite enjoying that. Teaching them how to roost, which is super important. I've been letting them explore uh, the other part of the coop where the big chickens hang out during the day when the big chickens are out free ranging, just to give them a little bit more space and freedom. And they really, really enjoy that. Okay. Uh, they always have to establish their dominancy. Are you stuck in here? Come on, buddy. Come on. They're probably not even going to realize it. Oh. Oh, you guys need to get dusty in there. Oh, here they come. This guy's the one that goes out first. He went out first to the other places. <laughs> Raven. Raven. We got Raven. Oh, we got Dusty. No, which one's that one? Whoa. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I just. You invited me. I know. What? All of them. They look so much smaller out here. <laughs> totally. Wow. What do you guys think? I 
I thought they were gonna go crazy. Ginger, is it everything you ever wanted? They're starting to get like their long gangly teenage legs where they go through that awkward phase where they've got the really long legs and skinny bodies. They literally go through a teenage phase. Why'd they go back in? This Hello. uh This one has weird feathers on her feet. I know. Hey? Some some chickens have feathers on their feet. Oh the food's in there. Okay, got it. That's understandable. I think you should call it a win and just tuck them back in there. Yeah. Give me some freedom. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, right? Yeah. Hootie, you're so brave, honey. You can boy, mom. <laughs> Hootie just slunk back in there. Here you go. I love you. I love you too. I'm glad you shared that with me. I personally would just tuck them back in there. Yeah. Call that a win for now. Okay. Because that up there. Find a way back into the other spot. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta do a little bit of a clean up there. 